In the U.S. state of Oklahoma, a mismanaged execution is raising all kinds of new questions about the death penalty. Chris Clackham reports. Critics blame the botched execution Tuesday of condemned Oklahoma killer Clayton Lockett on a combination of lethal injections that had never been tried before. So Governor Mary Fallon ordered Wednesday a review into what happened. I expect the review process to be deliberate, to be thorough, and it will be the first step in evaluating our state's execution protocols. She also put off for at least two weeks another execution that was supposed to immediately follow lockets, which witnesses say was horrible to watch. He was grimacing, clenching his jaw. His body was shaking. Uh, several times his entire head and shoulders lifted up off the gurney as if he was literally trying to get up. The three injections given to Lockett failed to kill him, forcing prison officials to halt the execution, although he died about 30 minutes later of a massive heart attack. Lockett's lawyer, who initially sued the state for refusing to disclose details about the execution drugs, blamed prison officials. They wanted to hurry up and get it done with as little transparency as possible. This is what they get. But Governor Fallon stands by Lockett's death as a legal execution. He had his day in court. I believe the legal process worked. She also still supports the death penalty, although opponents are using this case to fuel a nationwide debate about whether lethal injection is cruel and unusual punishment. Chris Clackham, CCTV.